second free throw is good. Now leading by one. Nets have gone an outstanding four or five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Irving against Lowe. Irving drives in. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. This game, as close as it's been, you really hate to see it come to an end. I agree. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Now, here is Monroe. That's tipped, and they get it back. He'll sap a screen. They set the pick. The three from Harden. And it's Miami with the rebound. Bosch has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Outside Butler. The feed to Bosch. Let's it go from 11. No good. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Harden dishes to Durant. And that one comes up a bit short. The Heat have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. A wide open look here for Botch. Miami no good on that time either. The Nets with the lead. Monroe with a screen on Buck. Durant kicks to Monroe. Pass to Millsap. And the bucket counts. He's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Yeah, we call that playing through the whistle. You know, he didn't give up on it. When he heard the whistle, he kept his focus, his concentration, and he found a way to get the shot up and down. One shot. One shot, gentlemen. Free throw drops for Millsap. And the Miami Heat have finished in the top two spots or better in each of the years the big three were in town. Last season that changed as they would end up 10th in that Eastern Conference. Double team on Bosch. A shot by Lowry. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Lowry's got four this quarter. We're seeing him bring that shooting percentage up now, guys. The first half was a struggle for him. Rolls up a screen on Buck. Durant for three. Let's keep it alive. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. And the defense out of position on that possession, which allowed for him to get that offensive ball. Well said. Yes, he did. You're right, Greg. That's a tremendous jam on the putback. What a great nose for the basketball he has and such a strong finisher as well. One shot. Shot. Talk about a terrific game for Monroe. 11 rebounds, then his huge assist tally makes it all the more impressive. You know what? He's the catalyst. He's the reason why this team plays with such harmony. And if his passing continues, they are going to be dangerous. Kyle Lowry with a beautiful setup. Irving passes to Durant. Zap a screen on Buck. Here's Durant. It's hauled in by the Heat. In transition, here comes Miami. And it's Butler missing. Now that's terrific defense at the rim. Got right in his path. And you know they'll be conscious of him next time they take it inside, too. I mean, that's what really good defenders do. They make you think about their presence. The Heat trail by three. Lowry drives in. Butler dishes to Lowry. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got six assists now in the game. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. Lowry against Irving. Outside Durant. Monroe sets a screen for Durant. Six to shoot. And that one's good. Now Lowry. 
There's the pick. Off the pick. Here's Butler. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Boy, guys, they've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. Excellent. Four straight passes leading to scores. Great team play. Now here's Harden. Launches a three, and that one's good. Harden's got nine points here in the second half. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. And it's Lowry penetrating. That's a two from Butler. They get it back. And nothing fancy, really, about that play. That's just good, old-fashioned, hard-nosed basketball to get that one. On the wing, Harden. Let's it go. And Monroe gets to Millsap. Irving with a clean look. And it's Miami with the rebound. Tang's got four rebounds now tonight. Dishes it to Butler. There's a good screen. And it's Bosch at the elbow. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And that's now 20 points for Chris Bosch. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Now here's Harden. Screen by Monroe. On the wing, Irving. Now recovering. Just four to shoot. Durant for three. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And, and you can tolerate gaffes like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Griffin's checked in for the Nets. Heat also with the sub. Whiteside's checked in for the closer. Miami's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Lowry against Irving to tie it up. Dang. And Durant sends it back. Bosch a screen on Hart. Butler goes in. And here's Bosch for three. Rebound by Monroe. Monroe's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Harden inside the three-point line. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Miami trailing. Butler on the win. 16 feet away. Bosch with another miss. They came close there to tying it up. Yeah, you know, and after the way they fought back into it here in the fourth, well, that would have been a big bucket for them. Now, here is Irving. Outside Durant. Monroe with a screen on deck. Irving from long range. The shot will not go. Good work defensively by Lowry. And that one bounced their way. But guys, the rebounding disparity has been stark. They are minus 10 in that category. Well, if you ask me, Greg, it's really been the story of the game. You know, the coaching staff cannot be pleased with the effort on the glass. That's 10 straight off of the mid range. I like the gray, Greg. They're picking their spots and finding holes in the middle of that defense to get those shots off. That's excellent discipline on display right there. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Kicks it to Irving. Picked by Griffin. Feeds it to Hart. There's the three. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got six rebounds here tonight. Then kicks to Bosch. Lowry passes to Bosch to take the lead. Outside Butler shoots the three. The rebound by Hart. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting 47% from the floor, getting it done. Butler with the steal. Lowry against Harden. Lowry dishes the box. Knocks down the three. 
This is exactly what happens when you allow Chris Bosh to get going. There's 39 seconds left in the game. And here's Harden. To stop the drought. Sinks it. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. Man, they're getting a fantastic effort from James Harden. Now a timeout called by Miami. The score is tied at 110. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Seven seconds left to play in the final quarter. Off his foot, and they're saying he kicked the ball. And the Heat call time here. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Lowry with the ball. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Five on the clock. He feeds it to Bosch. Inside, outside, it just doesn't matter. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. They're down by two. Three seconds left in the fourth. Harden for three. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Congratulations on this win. Tell us what the team's objective was tonight that most helped in getting this victory. Uh, everybody played. Uh, we all played together. You know, uh, we, we stayed, you know, aggressive and stayed, stayed the course of the game. Cohesiveness and aggressiveness, a pretty good combination. Thanks for the time, Kyle. Guys? All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. And now, the award-winning Ernie Johnson will take it from here. We'll see you next time. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Chris Bosh. No matter what they threw at him during the second half, it seemed like he had the answer and was able to find all the shots he wanted. Chris Bosh came to play tonight, guys. And that's a frightening prospect for an opposing team. Because when you got a big who can score from anywhere like Bosch can, it doesn't take much to get him on a serious roll. Makes it easy to see why he's an all-star over and over again, year in and year out. Boom, 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 boom. That's right, Ernie. Instruments. 
This guy was instrumental in the night in making sure they avoided a second straight loss. They needed somebody to step up tonight, and he was their guy. And folks, that'll wrap it up for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the game. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Have a good evening.